hello this is the next question again you can read it carefully and let me explain what it is then we will solve it it says there is a uniformly charged square plate and the potential at the center is given to us if we make a cube using similar type of uh, plates six plates of course then the potential at the center found to be v2 so we need to find the potential at the vertex of this cube so uh, if we uh, draw a plate let's say we are drawing a plate first some sort of this maybe this is uniformly charged and this plate is uh, having q charge altogether and this this is square plate right now if we catch the center point at the center point the potential is set to be v1 so this is v1 because of this charge distribution now as as far as potential is concerned we know this potential is defined as v is equal to integration k dq upon r some sort of this now k is a constant that remains the same uh, this q can be represented or replaced as a charge density into area upon r now r depends uh, on the distance from this charge distribution or this dq to the point where it is being asked the potential and d is going to be the area of that uh, small element now if we consider this r in terms of the length let's say uh, this carries length l so since this is square both dimensions are going to be l so r can also be linked with l in this question whatever r is being asked is going to be linked with l so uh, for instance in this case uh, you will find uh, this uh, for any element this distance has to be looked at uh, so you'll find that can be connected with l so point is v can be related with uh, charge density which is going to be constant uniformly distributed k is a constant da da will have a dimension square that means it will have l square and uh, this will be related with l so we can say the potential will be proportional to the length of this plate so whenever we change the length of the plate we will say potential will be changing accordingly as per this length that means if we increase this length as twice l or any factor then you'll find by the same factor the potential at the center will grow now we will use this point uh, moreover uh, this kind of six plates are going to create a cube so when we are going to see a cube let's let me draw over here let's say this is a cube we are going to see and we will be using finally to find the potential at any vertex of this cube so this cube is going to be made using six singular type of plates and the potential at the center is v2 we will say our center is going to be symmetrical with respect to all the faces so contribution by each face is going to be one sixth of the total why because potential is a scalar quantity so there is no concern about the direction so if we go here a distance l by 2 which is going to be the center basically the potential because of the same the same plate is going to be v2 by 6 by 6 because uh, you know uh, this is one sixth of the total so this is because of the single plate now and we also know this potential is proportional to the length so let's draw another plate which is of twice of its side twice of this l some sort of this some sort of this and now we have increased this length as by factor of 2 and so this is also going to be twice l because we are keeping it as a square now if we talk about what the potential at the center is going to be and what potential at this distance is going to be now this distance also uh, become double so point is this distance r that we use over here it depends on l so you'll find this potential will become definitely twice v1 because length is doubled potential will doubled same charge distribution that means same charge density moreover 
uh, what about this potential? This potential will also be doubled like it's going to be twice of V2 by 6 because of this thing. Now, if we are able to identify this, then we can catch the potential at the one of the corner. Let's say we talk about this corner. We are interested in potential of this. Now, this corner will be uh, having potential of six plates. One plate is going to be this. One plate is going to be this. And another back side. Now, if you consider these three plates, and uh, this, these three plates will be contributing uh, potential at this uh, point as the corner of these plates itself. So, three because of the corner points. Whereas the next three, if you catch them, let's say think about this bottom one. If you think about this bottom one, for bottom plate, this point is the same distance upside from the corner. For this front facing plate, Thus, this point is going to be lying at a distance L from this corner, perpendicular distance L. Similarly, the third one you can catch, which is this one, from this, from one corner, it will be covering L distance, distance then we will be finding the same point. So, we can say it will be contributed by two types of plates. Uh, one at the corner, just corner, another uh, at the distance L perpendicular from one of its corner. So, we can think of uh, or we can uh, let us say assume that these plates which are doing this corner stuff contributes V1 dash and the 3 which is uh, making at uh, L distance from the plate surface from the corner is V2 dash. So, we need to multiply it by 3 to get the total potential. So, 3 V1 dash plus 3 V2 dash will give our answer. Now, we can catch this V1 dash and V2 dash from this figure. Now, if you look this figure carefully, um, this 2 V1 is potential because of this entire sheet. Now, if we uh, divide this plate as like this, some portion this and some part is this and some part is this. If you look only this portion, if you like look at this point, can you think of this 2v1 is potential because of such four segments? Yes. So, what will be the contribution because of this uh, single segment? So, this corner of a square plate of dimension L, this dimension is going to be L. That means same dimension that is of this uh, uh, cube, right? So this is L. Now if you look this square plate and watch this corner, the same plate is placed over here and we are watching the corner. So can we say uh, because of this square plate at the corner potential comes out to be twice V1 divided by 4. So we will say V1 dash is basically twice V1 by 4. So, from this we are able to find this corner 1. If we can, if we are able to connect this, we have done half of our job. How to do the second half? That is how to find this V2 dash. Now, look the same picture again and consider the same plate again. Now, from this same plate, this is of length L and you will find since this was the center of this twice cell, so this distance was also L, isn't it? And now if you look at this potential, this potential, this is going to be at 90 degree from the one corner of the plate and at, at the same distance that is the side of the plate. Now if you consider maybe uh, this front one, so from this front, this is the same distance L and from perpendicular from one of the corner, that means same story is there as well. So, that is basically indicating this V2 dash. So, V2 dash is going to be the potential at this point because of this blue colored shaded plate. Now, we can say this potential came because of this four plates, four small plates which are making this bigger plate. So, this contribution is going to be one fourth of course. So, it is going to be V2 dash is equal to one fourth of this 2 V2 by 6. <coughs> Now, this is how we can get V1 dash, V2 dash. Once we are able to find these two, we can find out what this potential is. Let's say the potential we are looking for is uh, this B. 
So by this we can solve for v. How much the v is going to be? 3 times v1 dash plus v2 dash. Let's add them up. So this is going to be v1 by 2. After simplification, this is going to be uh, v2 by uh, 12. So final potential at this corner comes out to be 3 v1 by 2 plus v2 by 4. That's, that will become our final answer. Understood? That's the point. Okay, thank you then.